Have you ever watched the 1955 movie Land of the Pharaohs? If not, you might be curious about what enduring qualities have made this film an everlasting symbol of the industry. Released nearly seven decades ago, it continues to captivate audiences with its depiction of ancient Egypt. Now, as we delve into some random facts about the movie, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic in the comments below. Your stories can add depth to the legacy of Land of the Pharaohs. Land of the Pharaohs is a 1955 historical epic film directed by Howard Hawks, set in ancient Egypt during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu. The movie follows Khufu's ambitious endeavor to build a colossal pyramid as his eternal tomb. However, complications arise when he captures the beautiful and cunning slave girl, Nelifer, who schemes to seize the pharaoh's wealth and power. The film blends a gripping narrative with stunning visuals of the era's opulent Egyptian architecture and culture, creating a grand cinematic experience. Land of the Pharaohs was notable for its meticulous attention to historical detail and its large-scale set designs, showcasing the extravagance of ancient Egypt. While not a box office sensation, the film has endured as a classic portrayal of the era and continues to influence modern interpretations of ancient Egyptian culture and film and television. It remains a testament to Howard Hawks' directorial versatility and commitment to historical accuracy. The 1955 movie Land of the Pharaohs had an interesting musical secret. The lyrics of most of the choruses in the film, often thought to be ancient Egyptian, were actually gibberish. Composer Dmitry Tiomkin created these meaningless lyrics to evoke the period's sound and make it seem like ancient Egyptian. This musical choice added an authentic touch to the film's atmosphere. However, the movie wasn't all about music. It marked a significant point in the career of producer and director Howard Hawks. Land of the Pharaohs turned out to be his first commercial failure. This disappointment led Hawks to take a break from directing and travel through Europe for a few years. He eventually returned to the director's chair with Rio Bravo in 1959, making it the longest gap between two movies in his career. Interestingly, the movie faced a unique situation. It was never released in Egypt because authorities there believed that the character Vashter, played by James Robertson Justice, looked like a Jew. This led to the film being banned in the country. In conclusion, Land of the Pharaohs is a 1955 film known for its creative musical choices, the career setback it brought to Howard Hawks, and its ban in Egypt due to its portrayal of one of the characters. These elements combined to make it an intriguing piece of cinematic history. In the 1955 movie Land of the Pharaohs, there's an interesting tidbit about Joan Collins. She had to have a ruby button inserted into her navel because the censorship rules of the time wouldn't allow her navel to be seen. This was achieved by pouring a liquid adhesive into her navel, which, according to Joan Collins, made it look more erotic with the shiny stone drawing attention to it. It's a unique example of how strict censorship influenced the production of films in that era. Jack Hawkins, in his autobiography, revealed another curious incident during the filming. He was carried across the desert in a palanquin for a scene, wrapped in heavy robes. It got hotter and hotter, and while he waited due to delays, he saw British property men drinking ice-cold bottles of beer, which he couldn't join because had been instructed to stay put. Lastly, there's the famous Wilhelm scream hidden within the movie. This iconic scream is often used in many films as an inside joke among sound editors, and in Land of the Pharaohs, it emanates from within a crocodile. These quirky details shed light on some of the behind-the-scenes moments of the film, and how filmmaking in the 1950s had to adhere to strict censorship rules. It's a reminder of the unique challenges and creative solutions that filmmakers faced during that time. The extent of William Faulkner's contribution to the screenplay of the 1955 movie Land of the Pharaohs has been a matter of debate. Harold Jack Bloom, also credited with writing the film, later stated that Faulkner didn't write a single line. Meanwhile, the third credited writer, Harry Kurnitz, recounted the story of Faulkner arriving in Egypt during filming in an advanced state of inebriation, requiring hospitalization. This controversy over the screenplay's authorship adds an intriguing layer to the film's history, shedding light on the challenges faced during its production.
While Land of the Pharaohs is remembered for its epic portrayal of ancient Egypt, the behind-the-scenes drama involving the screenplay writers is a lesser-known aspect of its legacy. In retrospect, some involved in the movie, like Jack Hawkins in his 1973 autobiography, suggested that the film is best forgotten. Despite this, Land of the Pharaohs remains a part of cinema history, offering a glimpse into the grandeur and spectacle of ancient Egypt on the silver screen. Land of the Pharaohs, a 1955 movie, is notable for being the only film in CinemaScope directed by Howard Hawks. The film's production involved extensive efforts to recreate ancient Egypt, including scenes of the pyramid under construction. The film crew cleared sand from a deep shaft that was part of the unfinished Pyramid of Baca, and built a ramp and foundation matching the size of the original pyramid. Thousands of extras were filmed portraying workers pulling massive stone blocks. During the production, producer and director Howard Hawks enlisted between 3,000 and 10,000 extras daily, with half of them being Egyptian army soldiers, supplied by the government. This ambitious project required a significant number of people to bring ancient Egypt to life on the big screen. In summary, Land of the Pharaohs stands out as the sole cinemascope film by Howard Hawks and is known for its elaborate set construction and the massive number of extras involved in its creation. The 1955 movie Land of the Pharaohs had a tumultuous production. Director Howard Hawks faced numerous challenges, including casting issues and difficulties with the subject matter. Initially, fashion model Ivy Nicholson was supposed to play the role of Nellifer, but her behavior led to her swift dismissal from the film. Joan Collins, who ultimately played the part, had her doubts about her own suitability for the role and worried she might also be fired. Howard Hawks himself admitted he struggled with the dialogue, unsure of how a pharaoh should talk. He sought advice from writers like William Faulkner and Harry Kurditz but couldn't find a satisfying solution. Additionally, Hawks didn't enjoy working with CinemaScope, despite his initial interest in using the new film process. The film's making was far from smooth. Furthermore, Land of the Pharaohs faced controversy in Egypt, where it was banned due to its distortion of historical facts. The movie's portrayal of ancient Egyptian history did not sit well with the Egyptian authorities. These behind-the-scenes challenges and the controversy surrounding the film's historical accuracy make Land of the Pharaohs a noteworthy production from 1955. Joan Collins later reflected on her experiences, admitting that her weight gain during the Italian shoot led to criticism from the director, but it also pushed her to become more disciplined in her career. Howard Hawks, despite his difficulties, persevered with the film, showcasing the determination and dedication of the era's filmmakers. In the end, Land of the Pharaohs remains a unique entry in Howard Hawks' filmography, marked by its troubled production and historical inaccuracies that drew the ire of the Egyptian authorities. As we bid adieu to the timeless classic, Land of the Pharaohs, one can't help but be swept away by the grandeur and mystique of ancient Egypt, captured in all its glory on the silver screen. This cinematic masterpiece of 1955 invites us to journey back in time, to a world of pyramids and pharaohs, where power, passion, and ambition intertwined in an epic tale of love and betrayal. The film's intricate storytelling and meticulous attention to historical detail provide a backdrop for personal reflection. Have you ever contemplated your connection to this era, an epoch that shaped civilization as we know it? Did it ignite your fascination with history, or perhaps trigger memories of explorations in dusty libraries, or even a visit to the enigmatic land of the pharaohs itself? We encourage you to share your cherished moments and thoughts about Land of the Pharaohs and how it has woven itself into the tapestry of your cinematic experiences. Whether it's the unforgettable performances, the awe-inspiring sets, or the unforgettable soundtrack, your perspective is a valuable piece of the movie's enduring legacy. Your voice, your recollections, and your unique insights make the cinematic world richer and more vibrant. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey and for sharing your personal connection to Land of the Pharaohs. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. Warm regards.